Hello! Hi, Na! Happy face! Hello! Hi! Hello! Hi, teacher! Hi! Hello, teacher! Hello! So, are you ready? Okay, so welcome to uh, Doodle Basics Faces with Feelings. So, last two weeks ago, uh, two weeks ago, I had this event first Google Basics and a lot of people uh, appreciated it. So now I'm doing it again but this time we'll, we'll be doing instead drawing from numbers we'll be drawing faces. Okay so this is fun so we'll be using uh, basic lines and shapes I think you know that already. So before we begin I'm, I'll go, I'm going to introduce myself first. So I'm teacher Francis. I'm an adaptive I'm an inclusive and adaptive art teacher. So inclusive means I want to bring art to as many people as possible, regardless of their age, uh, their level of skill, and social status. And adaptive because originally I'm a special education art teacher. That's my first degree. And then I took fine arts for my second degree. And then uh, I I took a diploma in art education in Nara University of Education in Japan. So that's why I'm an adaptive art teacher. So I, I usually adapt the activity, materials, and tools to fit the needs of the students. So that's why I'm bringing art here and, really, uh, and I'm going to teach it the best way I can, the simplest way I can. Okay? So before we start, um, I'm, um, I'm going to have another workshop this june 4 5 and 6 it's doodle comics it's a bit um more intermediate than the previous one i'll be teaching i'll be teaching how to draw facial expressions and how to draw a human body and I, I also how to draw a human body in action so example running jumping okay and also uh I'm going to have another rerun of Doodle Basics next June 11, 12, and 13 because a lot of people wanted to try that, but it's already passed. <laughs> so I'm going to rerun it this June 11, 12, and 13. So you can check all the schedule of now free workshops and the free workshops in my website, teacherpressart.com. And I also have a free watercolor painting course in my website. You can also take that. And also the uh, free downloads, worksheets, uh, uh, tracing sheets, and coloring sheets. They're all free in my website, so you can check it out. Okay, so just one more. Uh, in June, June to August, I'm going to launch a full art program that's aligned with the DepEd curriculum. Okay, so if you're interested to take art once a week, so you can check it out. But I haven't uh, put it yet in my website. That's soon. Okay. So are you ready? Okay. So, okay. Okay. So I'm going to tell you first why I'm doing this. Because I want to enable positive change in people's lives through art. Okay, so I want to bring art to everyone, especially those who think that they are not artists, especially some of your parents. Okay. But most of the time, you know, kids are more enthusiastic in doing art, but some of their parents or some teachers think that they won't be able to draw anymore but that's not true okay so today this is not just for kids but also for your moms and dads okay tell your mom that they should join you too okay right okay yes I have a YouTube channel rain I have a YouTube channel and pray to me because I got 1,000 subscribers two days ago I'm so happy okay let's see I'm gonna check on Facebook live who I'm gonna check the responses. Hi everyone! Okay, hi from Laguna. Okay. Okay. I'm just gonna... So this is my first time to do Facebook Live. Ah, the second on my page. But a big event like this, it's my first time. So, okay. So, thank you to RJ. I'm gonna check people. I'm gonna call out people on Facebook. Hi, Miss M. Hi, Samantha. Hi, RJ. Okay. So thank you so much for being here. So I'm just so happy to share my, you know, 
I've I've been teaching for more than 10 years and I've always wanted to make a blog since 2015 <laughs> but it's only this year that I'm able to do this okay so yeah from Emus hi Rain from Emus Kavite mm -hmm. from Nebo Esihat Christina from Dagupan from Jakarta Jen and Sophie okay from Boko Or Sally Precious from QC okay Gertrude from Bacolod, Marie from Taguig. Okay, that's ma. <laughs> okay, so now, thank you so much. So, sorry, our, our Zoom now is full. So, thank you for staying here in Facebook Live, on Facebook Live from Isabella Belmonte. Hello. Okay, so we'll start. So, before we begin, I'm going to show you something first. Okay, so for this activity, Okay. May I know who here thinks that they're not an artist? Hmm. Really? Then why? Can you raise your hand if you think you're not an artist? Jazz, why? Oh! So many kids think that they're not an artist. Why? How about oh, art, the girl thinks he's an artist? No? <laughs> How about here? Who thinks they're not an artist? Aww. How about your moms? Ask them. Mom, mommy, nai. Do you think you're an artist? Ask them, ask them. Ask them! Mommy, do you think you're an artist? Jazz is like doing this. Ask them, tanong nyo sila. Mommy, tingin mo ba artist ka? Nay. Hmm? <laughs> Why are you laughing? No? Mm -hmm. My mom said no. <laughs> okay. How about in the Facebook Live? Do you think you're an artist? You think you're an artist? My mom thinks it's an artist. Dad said no. <laughs> you know, in my years of teaching, most of the time, most kids think they are more confident being an artist. Some adults think that they're not an artist. Okay, but that's not true. That will change today. Because I will teach you one of the eight have one of the eight studio habits of mine. So the eight studio habits of mine. I'll just put my speaker. The eight studio habits of mine are the habits of artists. So I will teach you the first two. So today you become an artist, okay? Not just a drawing artist, but a real artist, okay? We will learn how to observe. That's the first skill. Are you ready for that? Observe, we're gonna use our eyes, okay? Okay, so I'm gonna show you my Slide show first. I'm gonna share something first, okay? There. So, there. Welcome to Doodle Basics. So, for kids and for adults who think they can't draw, for the first, for the free workshop, we're doing faces with feelings. We're gonna make a happy, sad, and surprised face. Okay? Are you ready? Do this if you're ready. Okay. So, yeah. So first, for the parents here, I did I thought this before, but I'm gonna mention it again just for the new viewers. Okay. So, so we're gonna tackle the psychomotor domain. That means why, why, what are the steps to being an artist? Okay. So remember the first one. I mentioned this in my first video. If you haven't watched it, watch it first. Okay. It's in my Facebook page. It's on my website. It's on YouTube. It's free. So the first part is to perceive. So to see, to feel texture, to see shapes, to see colors, okay? That's perception. That is to observe. That is one thing that we're going to do today. Yan ang gagawin natin ngayon. Mag-o-observe tayo. Titingin, gagamitin natin ang mata natin, maigi ngayon, okay? Next is imitation. Imitation, you're going to copy me, okay? Copy me first. I will tell you how to draw it, then you will copy. And after that, maybe after this workshop, you will draw without me. You will draw by yourself, okay? Kayo na bahala magkopya. Kung ano yung naalala nyong tinuro ko, gagawin nyo. Okay? Next, adaptation. That means you will change what you remember. Diba, nagturo ako. Pero yung tinuro ko, babaguhin niyo. 
Okay, example, nagturo ako ng parang straight yung buhok o kaya malaki yung mata. Hindi niya na kailangan kopyahin ko ano yung tinuro ko. Babaguhin niya na. Okay? And then, the last part, origination. You're going to make original characters. Okay? So in my workshop, in the comics, on the third day, that's what they're gonna do. You're going to create your own. That's why this is a bit more of an intermediate class because I'm expecting that you will be able to create your own character. So this is, these are the steps. So if you want to be an artist, the first thing you do is to perceive, to look, see clearly, see closely, and then imitate. Okay. Yes, easy, yes, easy, smiling, yes, easy, excited, though. <laughs> okay, so this is, I mentioned this earlier. So the first thing we're going to do is to observe, perception, to observe, okay? Okay, we're going to observe. This is one of the eight habits of mind, eight studio habits. These eight studio habits are the habits of artists. They do inside an, an art studio. This is what they do in an art studio. Now, your house is going to be an art studio today. Not just a house, but an art studio. So, we're going to observe and develop craft. Develop craft means to improve your skills. Okay, that's what we're going to do today. If I were to do a full art program, I would include all of this, eight habits of the mind. Okay, this is how you become an artist. Okay, so if you can observe... And if you can develop your craft, then you're on your way to becoming an artist. Kung kaya niyong tumingin at mag-observe at kaya niyong mag-drawing, papunta na kayo doon. Malapit na kayo maging artist. Okay? So now, we'll observe. Okay, are you ready? Are you ready to observe? Okay? Yeah, I'll ask first. Okay? So if you want to talk, you can say something. Are you ready to observe? Yes! Yeah. Yes. 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 Yes, I am ready. Yes, I am ready. Yes, po. Yes, po. Ready. Yes, po. Ready. 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 Okay. So, so we're going to use our eyes. Okay? Eyes first. Alisa. So, mm -hmm. okay. so first thing we're going to do is we're going to draw a happy face. But before that, I, want, I need your parents to cooperate with you. Okay, so mga mommy. Okay, so first, I need you to think of a situation that will make you happy. Kailan tayo nagiging masaya? Pag naubusan ka ng pagkain? O pag merong ice cream, pag may regalo, paano? Can you can I see can I see a happy face? Can you act it like example? I received the gift. <gasps> wow! Show me a happy face. Uh, mommy, mommies, can you make a happy face? And then look 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 at your parents' work, parents' faces. Okay, tignan niyo yung mukha ng brother niyo or ng mommy niyo, happy face. So I want you to, let's see on page 7, ah, I want to see the people at the back. People at the back are always shy. Look at page 7. And remember those names. <laughs> they, are, they are not showing their videos. Okay, sana bigay niyo po sa slot yung iba. Okay, I want to see a happy face for the others in this page. So si Cassie, Sophie, Bella, Sam, can you look, see, can I see a happy face? So observe the eyes. Look at the eyes carefully. Yeah. Hello, in this part, can you can I see? Can I see a happy face? If if wala yung, if wala ibang tao, use a mirror. Bree, can I see Bree? Let's see Bree's happy face. Ah, 
Y look at the eyes, see? <laughs> okay, how about who else? Can I see a happy face now? So Jan Janet, Janet. Happy face, can I see a happy face? Happy face, smiley face. <laughs> who else? Ethan and Liam, wow, it looks like they're happy. Okay, good job. Let's see who else is this. Pia, 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 show me a happy face. Good job. How about Gian? Happy face. Okay, good job. I won't be able to flash everybody because there are like hundreds of you. Uh. Lorraine, see Lorraine. Let's see Lorraine. Okay. Okay. Oh, nice, 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 nice. Okay. In here, Maya. Let's see Maya. Happy face. <laughs> Okay, Savior, can I see a happy face? Happy face, can I see? <laughs> okay, so, so for a happy face, okay, let me see, where's my paper? Where's my paper? There, my paper. Okay, so tell me how, how, what a happy face looks like. Okay, so example, these are the eyes. These are faces. Okay, can you tell me which one? Can you tell me which one looks like a happy face? Look at look at the your, the mirror or look at your brother's or look at your mom's eyes. Which one looks like a happy face? Happy eyes. Number 1, 2 or 3? Which one looks like a happy face? Let's see ah, uh, you can say something. Which one looks like a happy face? Number two. 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 Hey, good job. See, now you know, diba? Now you know that a happy eye, happy eyes have curved lines that like this. Okay? So now that's what we're gonna do. So, get a paper. We're gonna draw happy eye. Okay? So when you draw, I want you to draw a big, okay? Make sure, so how, how big should it be? So do a fist. Your fist should fit here, huh? Example, I'm going to draw the letter U. My fist should fit here, that big. Wag masyadong maliit, kasi pag maliit, hindi ka yung details, okay? Make sure it's big enough, okay? For the moms, make sure your child draw, uh, can draw big enough. Kasha yung kamao doon, ha? Huh? Para hindi ganun kaliit. Gusto ko malaki yung drawing so we can put details. And then, that's the important size, okay? Dapat kasha yung grip, yung fist. Ganun kalaki yung drawing, okay? Because most kids, maraming bata, ang maliit mag-drawing. Okay? Normal yun. But that's a sign that they're not, might, they might not be that confident yet in drawing. So we want them to be confident. You can start that by drawing big. Okay, now you have this, right? So you mentioned that the eyes, happy eyes, have curved lines like this, diba? So let's make that. Do that first. See? So you notice that your eyes are like that, diba? Pataas, pag ano, no? pa curve. Malaki po yung fist ko po. Okay lang, that means you may have, should make a bigger drawing, just. <laughs> Can I see... Uh, Facebook Live. Mm -hmm. Can join Zoom kasi puno na po. Okay, can you, were you able to draw the shape of the face and the eyes? Okay. Joe Marga, why? Okay. Okay. Now, let's try to draw. Hmm. Maybe just do it this way first, a simple one. And then a simple nose, letter J. Remember, I, I'm, I'm not sure if I taught this already. Ah. I only taught this in the private workshop. So when you draw a nose, if you make a small nose, it makes your character look cute. If you draw a big nose, it will make your character look ugly. Example, I'm gonna draw the same character here. Huh? 
but it has a big nose like this. See, now who looks, who looks cute? Who looks more cute? Who's cuter? But if you make a big nose, it, it, it will make your character a bit ugly. So try to draw like a small nose. And then, what's the shape of a happy mouth? But can you smile again? Can I see another picture? Let's see. Let's see, Grace. Uh, see, look at the curve of the mouth. Is it downward or upward? Wow, see, yeah. Look at Leah's smile. See, okay. What? What? Anong itsura ng smiley face? Iba yung curve niya. So mula dito, down, up. That's that's how you make a happy face. Okay, laging pataas. Okay. But if you want to make the mouth open, draw it this way. See, like that. Then another line for the teeth. Another line for the teeth. And a curved line here for the tongue. Okay, usually when I use a pencil, I shade this part. Because this is the dark part. Ito yung madilim na part sa loob ng bibig. Okay, there. And then the eyebrows of a happy face. This is a super happy face. A super happy face doesn't have eyeballs. The eyes are just super happy that you cannot see the, the eyeballs. But you can make this thick. Doblehin yung lalim para mas magtignan. This is the standard happy face. Okay. 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 Now for the hair. So let's make two. I'm gonna put hair here for the boy. I'm gonna put hair here for the girl. So an example of the hair that you can do is a wavy line. Okay. For the boys, maybe you can do zigzag. Sa zoom may one slot. May nag-back out na isa. Na-disconnect. There. Zigzag for the boys. You can make a zigzag. Okay, then. Ah, and then let's draw the ears. So when you draw the ears, you see this in my ruler. So to start here from the eyes up to the bottom of the nose. That's how big your ears should be. No, this is too small. Yeah, two lines. Yeah, 100 dollars. There. So make ears. Okay. So make ears here. Two lines for the ears, okay? So for the boys, if you're a boy, you can make the eyebrows thicker. For the girls, if you want really, really nice eyelashes, you can also do so. It's a Facebook Live. How are you doing? There. Okay. And then for the girls, if you want a hairband. Okay. So when you draw a character, character, it's nice if you can uh, put accessories. Mm -hmm. Okay. You draw the neck. So for the boys, I'm thinking of this kind of hairstyle. Straight line here, straight line here. Okay. And maybe some maybe lines here. <laughs> Mine looks weird. From Leah, that's okay, Leah. Remember, if it's your first time, expect it to be imperfect, okay? Your first trial or, or mm, most of the time is not good, okay? Because that's your first try. Do you know how many, try, how many times I've been doing? It's my, my thousandth try. I've, doing, I've been doing this for maybe one, one, a thousand times, you see? But my first ones are also not good. But I've been doing this for... 20, 30 years. But if you're still young, it's okay to make mistakes. Okay? Keep on practicing. Okay? What I do is I always draw. That's why I can practice that. I can draw like this. Okay, then for the girl, you can make curly lines or straight lines. You can make it long. You can make it short. 
Hi, hi. Why so bad? <laughs> Maybe your expectation is too high. Mm -hmm. Okay, there. And the boy, there. His happy face. Okay. Remember what I said, why your drawing might not be good enough? Because you're not drawing enough. You're not making enough drawings. If you made 1,000 drawings, then you tell me if you're not good, okay? If you don't practice enough, but, but it, it needs practice, okay? Can you hear me? Can you hear me, everyone? Sabi wala no audio. Can you hear me? Yes, okay. Because somebody in Facebook said, too fast. Okay, I'll try. Wait. Am I too fast? Can I see your works? Can you show it to me? Like this? Wow! Okay, yeah. Um, cancel spotlight video. Wow! Nice. Can you see, Lance? Can you see your work? Wow, very good. Wow, Gian, nice. You may, you're able to create. No, no, I'll try to unmute you, ah. So, yeah. Can you show me your works? Yes. Hello. 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 Good job, Anka. Giselle. <laughs> nice. Bella. Jamie. Fine. It's not good. It's fine. Teacher, this is mine. Teacher, this is mine. 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 Okay, okay, Amethyst, let's see. Amethyst, you forgot the nose and the neck. Nose and neck. Yung ilong, tsaka leeg, nakalimutan mo. <laughs> okay, wow, Annika's work, no? Wow, nice. From Cassie, of course you can call her later. We're just making a happy face today. Okay. Okay. Nice and interesting for webinar for children. This is not just for children, but for adults as well, ma'am. Zoe, yung mga kids lang yung papakita ng pictures, but actually... In reality, I know that there are a lot of teachers and adults there who are observing and doing this as well, silently. So Rembrandt, nice. <laughs> we have a lot of adults, Rain and Chiyo. Can I see? Wow. Closer, closer. Lapit, lapit pa. Lapit, lapit para kita ko. <laughs> good job. Let's see, yeah. Wow, good job, Rain. Let's see from the last page nga, sino po dito? Di ko alam kung mabagal lang bang mag-load or talagang wala silang cam video. Ayaw magpakita. Sana naki-Facebook live na lang sila. Mm -hmm. Si Jen. Si Mimi. Ay, Mimi. Can I see? Mimi. May may? May may? Mimi. Wow, very good. Ay, wait na. Sige. Good job. So we're not yet done. We forgot to put the details. I only draw landscape. But yeah, it's okay. You, now we're drawing uh, faces. So in order to make this more interesting, you can put more lines. Okay. Oh, it's starting to rain. So I will start. I will... Uh, my voice because maka naririnig nyo po yung ulan. Maulan kasi. Ingat po. There. Now mine has nice hair strands. Remember the advice I gave you in the first video in our in our first in our first webinar 
uh, workshop, you have to close all lines end to end. So that means if you're starting here, don't do that. So you have to start here. Okay. Yeah. And para close lines. Okay. Now we're done with the happy face. Yeah. Sabi ko nga eh, pag ayaw magpakita ng artwork, give your slots to others. Magtatanggal ako ng... Mag, maglilib ako. Ay, papalib ko tong mga walang videos. Ah, yung mga iba dito kung walang videos. No audio. May audio ba? Meron. Ah, yung, meron daw pong audio. check na lang po. Baka sa inyo lang po wala. Can I do the t-shirt? Of course, you can do the t-shirt. You can add t-shirts. Okay? So, Gian. Can I see Gian? Gian, put lines on the bangs also. Yung bangs mo, lagyan mo ng lines. Ha? Good job. Okay? Okay. Can I see? Can I see? Sino to? Si Inigo and Joaquin. Can I see? Wow! Very good with the happy face! <laughs> they look so happy! <laughs> Annika, good job. <laughs> si Mama and Daddy ba yan? Jira and Char. Jira and Char. How about sa Facebook Live? Pwede nyo pong i-post yung words nyo dyan sa comment section. Wow! Nice. Milo. Let's see. Good job. Milo, kapalan mo pa yung eye. You can make the eyelashes. The eyelashes sticker. Okay? said Gracie and I see Gracie's work. Oh, look at that. It's so happy. <laughs> okay. Okay. So next, so I won't be able to flash all the si jazz. Last na si jazz. Okay, jazz. Good job. <laughs> okay. Now for the next one. Okay. Now we're done with the happy face. Okay. How to join the Zoom. It's posted in the comment section. Okay. We're done with the happy face. Now it's raining so hard. Nalakasan ko na lang boses ko ha. Okay, now we're going to do the the sad face. Okay? We're going to do a sad face. Okay, who can think of a situation? Who can think of a situation that makes you sad? Tuwing kailan tayo nagiging sad? I-act nyo nga. Can I see a sad face? Ready? Pag naubusan ng food, hindi na ano sa exam. Wait lang, ayan ha. Okay? Sad face, can I see a sad face? Observe the mouth. Saan papunta yung mouth? Hello, yung eyes. Ano ko, nalungkot talaga nila. Sino magaling dito? Ba't si Brie tumatawa? Si Brie tumatawa? Brie. <laughs> I saw you. <laughs> Okay, so me a sad face. Oh, Gian, it's so sad. Si Kidla to. Kidla, can I see? <laughs> natatawa ka pag... Natatawa ka pag... <laughs> Keisha din. Sorry, natatawa din ako pag... <laughs> can I see a sad face, Maxine? Magtatawa. Maxine, oh, sad face. Look at the mouth. Can you trace your mouth like this? Oh, it's sad face downward, di ba? Si, si, si Anne, si Anne. Let's see, sad face. Mm. But again, look at the eyebrows. Tingnan niyo yung kilay ah. Saan papunta ang sad face? Tingnan mo si, I don't, walang name eh. You know, sad na sad oh. Tingnan mo yung bibig niyo, pababa. Diba? Tingnan mo yung sad face. Can I see? About this page. Oh, ba't si, ano, tumatawa? <laughs> si John. Can I see John Stanley? Oh, you know. You know yung bibig ko. Oh. Ganun no. Yan, downward no. Sino pa to? Sila Marilyn? Can I see sad face? Paano yung mata ng sad face? Yung kilay? Sad face nga, sad face. Natatawa yun. <laughs> Can I see dito sa likod? Wala pa rin audio. Meron daw audio eh. Baka sa inyo lang. Sa Facebook Live, can you tell me if there's audio? Sabi daw meron eh. Okay, sad face, ha? Now, let's go back. Okay, now, you carefully observe yourself. You can check kung may iba kayong kasama sa bahay. Tignan nyo yung kilay nung sad face nila. Okay? Wait lang. 
I show my face. Ah. So you look at a sad face. You observe the eyebrow. Okay. Observe, observe. In the mouth, so like this. Okay, so we'll try to draw that. Okay, so if you're an artist, okay, you have to be, you have to carefully observe. Okay, an artist can see things that other people can. Okay, sometimes they see more lines, they see more colors, they see more texture and pattern. Okay, so you should be able to observe. Which one can be a sad face? So, <clears throat> which one? One. Can I see? Can you say it? One. One. Okay, one and three. Let's see. Okay, so one and three. I'm gonna show you how oh, we will combine this. We will combine this eye and this eyebrow. Okay. I'm gonna show you. I'll make two again. One for the boy, one for the girl. Okay, again, let's make the drawing. Kat dapat kasha yung fist. Okay. Okay. I'll make a boy and a girl. Okay. This. Okay. So for a sad face, I'll I'll draw different kinds of sad faces. Okay. So the first one is closed eyes. I'll make it thicker. Kakapalan ko para mas maganda. Look ko. Kinakapalan ko ha. Hindi kasha yung face ko. Okay lang yan. Okay. Tingnan nyo kung kasha yung face nyo ha. So you can draw the details ha. So. There's one more slot. Ay, wala na. <laughs> wala na. Okay. So. Sad face. Sometimes. Can be closed eyes. Okay. Okay. But it can also be, you know, a normal eye. Let's see. So we draw an oval. Okay. This one has open eyes. So, and a neutral eye. This one, this one can really look sad just by the eyes. Okay, you can make two. Okay, Cassie, you can make two works. You can do both. Okay. This one is a neutral eye, meaning hindi, hindi siya masaya, hindi siya malungkot, just normal eyes. But you can change the emotion just by changing the eyebrows. So remember the eyebrows. I'm going to show my face again. So you observe. So the eyebrows of a sad face is from here. Pag ganun. You know. Diba? So you have to observe. So we will do that. Look, tingnan nyo, magbabago yung emotion. Okay, pas slant, slanting outwards. Now it looks sad. Actually, any negative emotion can be like this. It can be worried, it can be sad, upset. Okay. Then, for this one, dapat ganun din. Pwedeng pag ganito naman yung kilay. Pero ganun din, pababa. It's tilted outward, sideways, outward. Yan, pababa. Okay, may one slot ulit po sa zoom. Basta dapat pababa siya. It's downward. Outward and downward. Okay. And then, if you're making a sad face, diba? let's try different nose. This time, I'm gonna make nose like this only. This one. Letter J. Yes, Maya. Can you raise your hand, Maya? Mm -hmm. Yeah, can find. Later, <laughs> lah. Okay, then and then as a uh, a sad face, diba? Who can show me a sad mouth? I'm gonna choose. Who can show me a sad mouth? Sad mouth. Let's see who has the saddest mouth here. Gian. 
Sige, si Gia. Can I see your mouth? Oh, look at Gian's mouth. Nakita niyo yung curve? O, ganun. Okay. Oh, look at Michelle. Michelle, can I see your mouth? Mm. <laughs> okay. That's a sad mouth. Okay. So, it's like this. So, I'm, I'm going to make a simple mouth here. So, that's your mouth. So, to make it more interesting, I put dots on it. That's how you do a sad mouth. Kailangan pa ganun. Uh, Miel, for today, we'll just make three emotions. But there are six universal emotions. The other three, I'm gonna teach it on Jude 4 in my full workshop. If you can attend the live, you can purchase the recordings only. So it's 300 just for the recording of the video. Okay. So you can practice and replay and share with your family. Okay, tears. Cassie said tears. Okay, let's put tears. <laughs> Why is she crying? So sad. No. Okay. This one, we're gonna use an open mouth. It's the same as the one earlier, but it's like this. Okay. okay. And then, but you still put the teeth here and then the third line here. Okay. Okay, next. You shade it. There. Mm -hmm. Sa Facebook Live. <laughs> Pwede po kayo mag-picture tapos i-post niya sa comments. Pwede ba yun? Picture. Para pakita ko. Para ma-record din po natin yung reactions tsaka yung comments niya. Okay. Now this is a sad face. Okay. Okay. Now for the neck. Just draw the neck. Okay. There. Neil, yes, the next class is Zoom but it's a paid workshop. Okay. But you can also access the recordings. You can check my website, teacherpreciousart.com, for all the details. And there are also free tutorials there. Okay. Next, the ears. So remember the ears. We draw the ears. Start from the eyes. See? So align with the eyes. And then the nose. Nose. Okay. Hindi pwede mag-post ng picture. Ganun. Sige. There. So, you're using the markings I made. So, from the eyes and from the nose. Pantay dapat ng nose. So, that's where you draw the eyes. Uh, ears. That's where you draw the ears. Para hindi super laki ng ears. Hindi rin super liit. Kasi sometimes, the tendency of some ch kids, they draw uh, ears that are too big. Or sometimes you draw the ears here. Do you, do you draw the ears here? Or you draw the ears here? <laughs> no, you draw the ear here, okay? Dito, ha? pantay, ha? tinan nyo, the eyes, eyes, and some nose, so ilalim ng nose, yan. There. It will be a monkey, yes, Miel, pag nilakihan. Hi, Violi. Hi, Ayesha. Hi, Linda. Hi, Isa. Oh, you can watch the from Facebook Live. Yes, Samantha Nano, what's your question? <laughs> okay, let's see. Facebook Live. <laughs> They're doing the emoticons there. Good job, everyone. So, Facebook Live. Okay, next. Let's have a... Okay, let's see. Why is the boy sad? Because he has a bad aid here. He has a bump. So always look for the reason. Why is he sad? Maybe because he bumped his head. Sige, <laughs> Miel. Let's see. Si Miel. Asan ba si Miel? Nagpa-request siya. Miel, can I see your drawing now? How oh, it's your progress? Ay, <laughs> that's so sad, Miel. <laughs> Good job. Okay. Okay, now, so what about the girl? 
Why why is she sad? Bakit kaya siya sad? Let's see. Oh, bandaid on the nose. Yes. Yes, you can put bandaid on the nose. Zen. Sige nga, Zen. 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 Patingin. Oh, that's so sad, Zen. Mine is crying. Okay. Okay, good job. So, remember what I told you. Let's see. Uh. <laughs> okay. Black eye, yes. So, this is what I'm telling you. So, di ba? I told you the second part. First is to observe. Second is to copy. Third is to adapt. So now some of you are already asking me if they could change what I'm teaching. Of course you can. That's the purpose of this one. I'm just providing you a guide. But if you can change, if you can tell a different story, pwede nyo gawin. Okay? Pwede kayo gumawa ng sarili nyong kwento. Okay? Art is for self-expression. You, you can do what you want. Okay? If you have a personal story like, kunwari, naubusan ako ng chocolate, wala ng chocolate sa tindahan, I'm sad, then you can do so. Okay? Kunwari, meron siyang kagat ng lamok dito, pwede din. May band-aid, pwede din. You can make your own and then post it in our groups, Art for All Abilities, so I can see. Okay? Okay. Now, let's see. For the girl, I'm not sure why she's sad. Hmm. Anyway, let's just make her hair. I want her hair like this, like mine, like mine, <laughs> my hair is sideways. Pwede reverse ang boy and girl, of course, pwede po. Ah, pwede niyo pong gawin kahit anong gusto niyong drawing. Hindi <laughs> ko naman po kayo pagagalitan kapag i-wandering nawin niyo kaysa sa akin. So, yun. I'm just showing you some ways. These are my options. These are my options, but feel free to change it. That's the fourth step, adaptation. Adaptation, meaning you're already changing what I'm teaching you. The next you're gonna create. For this one, let's try. Gusto ko yung buhok niya. Ganito. Ba't kaya siya nalungkot? Hmm. Ito na yan. Sa boy, oh, meron siyang... Boy, hmm, iba naman buhok nito, iba naman yung buhok nito. Parang si Eugene. Then, from here, <laughs> like that. So for the girl, put more lines here. Pigtail siya. <laughs> I have no watermelon left. <laughs> you can make your own story. Ito yung buhok niya pa. Iba. Or pwede rin meron siyang buhok pa dito. See? Okay. Okay. That's how you draw a sad face. And then for the boy, maybe we can draw lines as well. So when you draw lines, it makes your work more interesting. Not that. You can also make the outer lines thicker to make it look cute. So let's do the collar. So draw a V, a V. <laughs> He's had those sticks. He's gone from Roblox. Angela said, "Okay, V, V, okay, V, okay. Then another V here. You tell me if I'm too fast. Am I too fast? Mm -hmm. Ah, sorry, I'm too fast. Oh, I'll pause here. <laughs> you finish the hair first. So I'll put more lines here." Finish the hair. I'll wait for you, ah. Uh. On June 4, in the Doodle Comics class, I'm going to teach the three more emotions and I'm going to teach you how not to draw a stick figure. Because well, many adults, even adults, you know, they don't know how to draw a solid human figure. They only know how to draw a stick figure. So on June 6th, it's open for everyone, for all ages. Okay? 
not just for kids, for adults as well. In case you don't know, I've been teaching art to teachers since 2012. And that problem is common for many adults. Okay. Just so you know, it's normal. If you, can, if you think, you can draw a stick figure. And then, you know how to make this nicer? You know how to make this better? Make the outline thicker, outer parts. Tinamo, kakapalang ko yung pinakalabas na line. Ha? It will look like a doodle, more doodle art. You know, because when you make doodle art, the outlines are defined. Pinakalabas na line, yung pinaka outer line, kapalan. You can tilt the paper so you can make it thicker. Tunan nyo to ha, mas maganda to. Okay. Mm -hmm. There. See now, see the difference of this one? See, see the difference of this one? Tsaka dito. Mas maganda tignan pag, uh, pag makapal yung outline. Okay. Actually, may this line thicker too. May one more slot sa Zoom. May isang na-disconnect or nag-back out. There. Yan. Don't put, don't make the other line thicker. Just yung pinakalabas lang na lines. And then you can put patterns. Uh, maybe meron siyang flowers. Flowers dito. How old is it? Okay, you know when I teach, I don't consider the age so much, but what I consider is their ability and belief that they can do art. As well, except for two or three years old. Age will only matter for the fine motor skills. Of course, a two year old or three year old cannot draw or cannot trace a straight line. But I've met some four-year-olds who are really, really good, who can imagine, who can draw spontaneously. And I've handled 60-year-old adults who cannot draw, who can only draw a stick man. So age really doesn't matter much. And I've been teaching SPED, diba? SPED. So in SPED, sometimes you have a mixed age class. Okay. So you really, I really have to adapt to their skill. You know, so age doesn't matter much as long as you're, you believe you can draw or if you think you're a beginner, then you should go to a beginner's class. You see now, you see how it's different from this one? Mm -hmm. Okay. So Rochelle, you're 13 years old. Did you know that most of the 600 participants in the survey who signed up for the first workshop were adults? And two years ago, two years ago, I thought, I conducted a workshop for teachers, 350 teachers, and most, these are MAPE teachers. Most of them are not familiar with drawing. It's because they only lack practice, not because they're not good at art, not because they're not artists, it's because they lack practice. And they think they can't draw. So if you think you can draw, you don't practice. If you don't practice, you, you won't improve your skill. So what you need to do is you have to draw every day. You draw every day. Okay. Now for the color, So start here at the back, draw two lines. Okay, boy looks sad. Of course, it looks sad because we're doing a sad face. Jessely. Okay. There. I'm gonna make this thicker. There, yeah, you have this, right? Okay, so do that, do that. You can use this with a pencil. <laughs> okay. Zane Zane, I draw every day. Very good, Zane Zane. Zane Zane said she draws every day. That's good. What's SPED, Cassie? SPED is special education. So I teach children with special needs. That's my specialty. I teach art to children with special needs. Actually, all abilities. Okay. All abilities. There. And here. And then here. Later, I'm going to show you a worksheet that I made. 
because I usually teach a multi-level class. That means in one class, there are mixed skills. There are some who are good, some who are starting. So that's what I do. I always differentiate my activities. There. Now you have a color. Okay. Then you can do this. There. Still, there, I, have, I still don't have story why she's sad. Hmm. Maybe later. Okay. There. Now I have this and I have this. Okay. They're sad. Uh, let's see the happy face again. Look at this one. Look at the difference of the happy face. Okay. For the happy face versus sad face. The happy face, the eyes are like this. The sad face, the eyebrows are like this, downward. The happy face, the mouth is this way. The sad face, the mouth is this way. Okay. And then for this one, see? The happy face, the eyes are like this. For the sad face, the eyes are like this, downward. Okay, maybe she's hungry. Okay, yes, maybe she's hungry. Maybe Linda said this girl is hungry. Maybe she's hungry. For the sad face, the mouth is downward. For the happy face, the mouth is upward. Okay, remember that. Okay. Now let's see your words. Can I see? I cannot flash. I'm sorry if I cannot flash everybody's work, okay? Oh, let's see Jazz's work. Oh my God, it's so sad, Jazz. It's so sad. She has a bump on his head. Good job. Who else? Maya. Can I see? Oh, that's so sad. Good job, Maya. Joe Marga. Where's Joe Marga? Hmm. Yo, Marga. <laughs> Good job. Jo Marga, shade the eyes. Yung loob ng mata, itiman mo pa. Shade the eyes. The, the closed eyes, the sad eyes, the, the other one. Mm -hmm. Jaden. Jaden. Oh, so sad. Oh. Let's see. <laughs> Anika, nice. Dito, dito. Si Leah. Let's see Leah's work. Leah. Oh, sad also. Still, Meg, can I see? Oh, you can put eyelashes pala. You can put eyelashes. Lance. Lance, kulang ng buhok. Kulang ng buhok sa taas, Lance. Ito, tignan mo yung work ko. Kulang ng ganito pa, Lance. Yeah. Sa taas, ha? Okay, let's see those in that last page, sixth page. Wala pa rin. Dito. Si Cassie. Wait lang, Cassie. Oh, good job, Mika. Hmm. Okay, who else? Ito pa. Mm -hmm. Just Glissel. Oh. Okay, let's see who else. Liam. Liam. Oh, he looks worried also. Okay. Sophie, can I see? Sophie? Wow, that's anime. That's nice. Good job, Sophie. Michael Lopez. Michael Lopez, I cannot see your video. I cannot choose you because ayan. There. <laughs> nice hairstyle. <laughs> There's a bun. Good job. Okay. Anika, what happened there, Anika? My black Aisha. <laughs> okay. Oh, that's sad. Oh. Sino pa? Alexa. Can I see? <laughs> oh. Monica and Faith. Oh, may black eye din. Sad naman. Sad naman. Okay. Who else? Mika? Mika Aldre? Can I see? <laughs> okay. Okay. Keisha. Let's see Keisha's work. Wow, pink. Nice.
Later, I'm going to show you a worksheet I did. I'm going to upload some of it in my website for free so you can have a guide. Where's my picture faster? Anyway, you can shade this. Not too dark. She saw a monster. <laughs> okay, yeah, see, now you can create a story. You're not sit down. Okay, so draw the ears. Draw the ears. Okay. Okay. This one, maybe her hair. Hmm. I mean, because it's that hair that like is. Yeah. yeah. So maybe I'll make her hair. Hmm. Hmm. Well, can make her hair short. Here. If you watch party with this and share it. Okay. And then on June 4, uh, Thursday, I think I'm going to teach the other three emotions. You can also avail of the recordings only. You can check my website, teacherpreciousart.com. Okay. And I'm going to show you something. So, can I show my drawing later? Wait. So, okay. So, this is a worksheet I made. <laughs> I did this for like a month. So I I made some lines, the kinds of emotions. Okay. I, I will upload this in my website. You can access it for free. Okay? This this part, this part only, not the worksheet. And maybe this one also. So you can uh, have a guide. Okay, but not all. <laughs> and this is the guide for the eyebrows. You see? Neutral, happy, sad, angry. And here, guide for the ears. Okay. If you have the three-day workshop, this comes. I will send you the whole PDF. Okay, these are the different kinds of mouths. Then this one. But this one, I'm gonna sell this part. Okay. So you start with the easy one, the smiley for toddlers. And then this is this one is for more three or four year olds, or five, or maybe if you're just beginning. But this one is more for like maybe grade 2, grade 5, depending on what your level is. You can combine the different faces. Okay. Website. What's my website? Teacherpreciousart.com. Okay. You can click on my page. And then this is the level 4, which is more complicated. Okay. Okay. For adults. Okay. I made this multi-level because when I teach, you know, in a classroom, there's always a like, Skill with a very beginner skill, intermediate skill, advanced skill, all in one class, and I have to teach them same lesson. So I designed my special designing art activities that can cater to all abilities. That's age when I'm teaching. I don't mind if you're an adult, if you're a teenager, or if you're a kid, as long as you think. Oh, there we're done. We're done with the surprise phase. Done with the sad face. Sad face. Sad face. Sad face. Sad face. Sad face. There. Okay, now let's see. Show's done. Yay. Okay. And then please post your works in the Facebook groups. Okay. Wait, I'm gonna show you first. Uh, ah, one more thing before we before I I share my other works. I'm gonna show you something first. So for parents, I made this. I made this visual cards in PDF and Word for Word format. You can download it from my website for free. This is used when I do scheduling. Okay. So example, when I teach a class. Okay, kids. Today we're gonna draw. We're gonna paint, and finish. And you should clean up. Okay. this schedule you can print it this also works for children with special needs okay especially they have to know their schedule on what activity to do today okay and also please post your works in our group art for all abilities 
don't have the link here. Anyway, okay, now it's sharing time. Let's share your works. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Can you show me your works? Let's show me your works. And so we can have a screenshot later. <gasps> ah, yeah. You forgot to outline one eye. You forgot to put the marker. <laughs> Thank you, Joe Marga. <laughs> okay. <laughs> forgot to put the dot. Oh, look at this one. There's blush. <laughs> Zoe, there's blush. Thank you.